The pandemic, we know, has been physically and emotionally challenging for almost everyone, but for some, it has been overwhelming. And all that anxiety, stress, and isolation can affect the mental health of adults and kids. Doctors say there are some signs that you or a loved one may need help. KCTV 5's Carolina Cruz reports. Day one, under the metro-wide stay-at-home order in the streets downtown, noticeably more quiet. Without an end in sight. More children are now being hospitalized with the virus, with those 17 and under hospitalized last week, with numbers 21% higher than the week before. The pandemic is taking its toll on mental health. And parents are feeling anxious about the return of their children to school. Monty Miller is a clinical manager for outpatient behavioral health services at St. Luke's. He says kids pick up on their parents' mood, but it's harder for them to process those feelings at their maturity level it can have negative effects on their mental health. So on the inpatient side, we saw a lot of kids struggling with increased anxiety. Dr. Danielle Johnson is a child psychologist with the University of Kansas Health System. The uptick in the number of patients she saw seeking services at the beginning of the pandemic remains high. If you hadn't had that limited capacity, do you think you still would have been full? Yes, yes. She says talking openly as a family about mental health is important. Every child and teen responds to stress differently, but here are some signs you as a parent or guardian can watch out for. It includes irritability or difficulty concentrating, isolating from friends or family, unhealthy sleeping or eating habits, and unexplained headaches or body pains. Know as a parent to ask the questions, are you feeling like dying? Do you want to die? And not being afraid of using these words because words matter and we have to have a clear understanding if they're saddened down but they're they're not thinking of killing themselves to approach it that way with the latest wave in COVID-19 infections everyone is coping with a range of emotions and so I think we are having more phone calls and more uh, appointments made because of increased anxiety the CDC recommends making time to unwind and do a fun activity connect with community support groups and have honest and reassuring talks about COVID-19 Doctors encourage you to seek professional support too as a way to prevent worsening effects in your mental health. Carolina Cruz, KCTV 5 News. And tomorrow at 5, we dive into the long-term mental health effects from COVID-19. Now, there is help available for those who need it. The number for the Suicide Prevention Lifeline is 1-800-273-TALK. It's free and confidential support available 24 hours a day and you can also chat with a counselor online at suicidepreventionlifeline.org.